Hey, what's up? This video is recorded while I'm in quarantine. Because I have a lot of time. Gotta love it. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my last video, which, well, was about me being in quarantine. And that song is still stuck in my head because I recorded that video yesterday. <sighs> yes. As I said, I have time. Today is Saturday. Today I'm recording this. Um, and it's still January, also. So this video will come out in uh, February. Um, and today, some of my friends are recording a um, high production video. I say high production because we have to use, or we are using high end cameras and stuff for a school project. And I was the lead. I was the main character. But now I have COVID. Anyway, um, because I know how bad it feels to feel bad. You know what I mean. Because I can relate to other people. I would say about myself that I am a big empath. Yeah? And that is exactly what we're going to do today. Here is a empathy quiz and I want to see how far I can get what I I literally just got up guys I'm sorry that this intro is so freaking bad I'm also using a new setup I have a lamp now <laughs> which I didn't have for a long time um, and that lamp has like a tripod wire kind of thingy where I can put my camera on so and this is my mic I don't know kind of like this yeah I don't know um, <clears throat> but yeah so this way the camera is closer to me and the sound could be better or I can just use the mic depending on what sound is better we will see that um, but yeah I want to see how empathetic I think that's the word how much empathy I have, um, according to Greater Good Magazine. I have no idea how good that website is. Um, it says it's science-based. You can check it out as well under greatergood.berkeley.edu. Um, and then the rest that is in there, you know. But yeah, without further ado, let me start this. Okay, I easily feel sad when the people around me feel sad. Does that mean that I feel their sadness or that I myself am getting sad about whatever? Because that is a huge difference. That's why I would only say agree because when people tell me sad stuff, I am sad for them, but I'm not getting sad myself, you know what I mean? So, before criticizing somebody, I try to imagine how I would feel if I were in his or her place. Um, yeah, very strongly agree. I mean, sure, in the heat of the moment, like in video games or whatever, that's very hard to do. But in, I'll call it real life, <laughs> um, I very much do this. It is difficult for me to understand what makes my friends happy. No, not really, because I can I can see from their reactions if something that I do makes them happy or not, and I can also tell from what they tell me if they liked what they were doing, you know? So that's why I would strongly disagree that I, you know, I, I can do that. Um, it upsets me to see someone being treated disrespectfully. Oh, 100%. I hate that. And I hope we get to this question later. I hate, hate, um, I wanted to say inequality, but that as well. Um, unfairness. Obviously. I, I hate when people I care about are treated unfairly and I cannot do anything about it. You know? Or... I even hate when people I don't know get treated unfairly or harshly and I can't do anything about it. Like, just just think of people in other countries or of other ethnicities being um, persecuted 
for who they are. That's incredibly unfair, and I hate that because I can't do anything, anything about that. I can't just fly over there and tell the president of that country, yo bro, what you're doing is wrong. I can't because I don't have the money and the time. But also, if I were to do that, I would be persecuted myself. <laughs> it's, it's dumb. Moving on. When someone else is feeling excited, I tend to get excited too. Yeah. Um, that's the thing. Just like with the sadness thing, I am excited for them. So I won't press strongly agree. But yes, I'm definitely excited for them, because why wouldn't I, you know? I have tender, concerned feelings for people less fortunate than me. Ooh. Now that is an inter interesting thing, like, I am aware, for example, that there are people in Africa who... I, I, I know, that's, that's like the go-to for everybody who says, oh, there are people who are suffering. Um, but it's true. There are people in Africa who are suffering because there's illness, there's poverty, there's not enough water, whatever it is, they're suffering. And I do feel bad for them, but it's not in the forefront of my mind. Like, for example, when I have a huge problem that I cannot deal with and that isn't working out or whatever, and somebody told me, well, don't go too harsh on yourself and don't be too mad because there are people who are suffering from this and that, I would be like, yeah, wow, but that doesn't change the fact that I have a problem as well. So in this case, I'm not as empathetic as I could be, I think, but I also don't, I also do not not feel bad, you know? So it's a neutral kind of thing for me, I think. I sometimes find it difficult to see things from the other person's point of view. Um, disagree, there are instances where it's very hard for me to do that, but it depends on the topic, it depends on the thing being talked about. So I would disagree. I find that I am in tune with other people's moods. Yeah. I can very much tell when people are down or not, in the most cases. Um, it's, it's body expressions, it's their voice, it's their eyes, which is body expre expression, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can tell. Um, just recently, I was talking to my girlfriend as well, and she told me something, and I pretty much immediately analyzed what she was thinking and saying and how she was feeling and I surprised her because she realized that that was exactly the thing that she was feeling and she wasn't um, seeing that she was feeling that, you know? So yeah, I strongly agree. And this, this quiz just turns out to be me boasting about how empathetic I am, <laughs> but yeah, whatever. Um... If I'm sure I'm right about something, I do not waste much time listening to other people's arguments. No. I mean, disagree, not strongly disagree, because I do listen to other people's arguments even if I know I'm right, but if the arguments are just plain stupid, or if they're just using the same arguments over and over, which I can disprove or whatever, then I wouldn't listen to them too long. That's why I would disagree, not strongly disagree. If someone tells me about an event that made him or her happy, I can easily understand why that event made them happy. Um, yeah, like if they tell me the reason why, I can, I would say that I could put myself into their perspective or I could see stuff in their perspective to understand why they were happy. So yeah, I would agree. Maybe not everything, but yeah, I would agree. I try to look at everybody's side of a disagreement before I make a decision. Oh, 100%. I don't even have to say anything about that. Yes, 100%. I become irritated when someone cries. No, not really. No. I mean, why would I? Like, 
crying is totally fine. There might be moments where it's kind of weird that you cry or whatever. But no, I'm not irritated when somebody cries. Strongly disagree. I can easily think about events that will make my friends happy. I think that's the same thing as the question above, to know what my friends, uh, what, my, what makes my friends happy. Because this is just the same thing, but in an event. If I could organize an event, which would I organize to make my friends happy? So I would agree. I, I can. I, I would think I can think of one. I sometimes try to understand my friends better by imagining how things look from their perspective. Oh, yes. And everybody should do that. I get a strong urge to help when I see someone who's upset. Yes! <laughs> I think I have a helper complex or something, I don't know. But I want to help wherever I can. Which is a good thing. Right? I believe that there are two sides to every question and try to look at them both. Yes. And no. Like, for example, if you told me, is climate change real? I know this is a hot topic. <laughs> um, then I think there's only one right answer and one right side. Yes, climate change has been happening. That's, I mean, even if you don't believe in the drastic climate, climate change that is evidently happening, you do see that there has been climate change in the past because we have had an ice age and then there wasn't and we've had an ice age. So yes, climate change does in fact exist and we are accelerating it. So, agree because not everything. Small rant, by the way, <laughs> for whatever reason. When I see that my friend is sad about something, I easily feel sad as well. Again, agree, because I don't feel sad myself, I feel sad for them. It's kind of weird phrasing. Maybe they mean exactly that, but that's how I understand the question. I have a hard time predicting what situations will make other people happy. Dis disagree. Disagree. <laughs> yeah, same thing as above. When I'm upset at someone, I usually try to put myself in their shoes for a while. Depends. It really depends. I've had situations where I wanted to, and I, I had situations where I was just plain mad and I didn't want to. So, really neutral about that one. When I see someone being taken advantage of, I feel protective towards them. Yes. Yes. I do. No questions asked. I remain unaffected when someone close to me is happy. Unaffected? No. I'm, I'm feeling happy for them, and I think happiness is very contagious. Sadness can be too, but if you are, oh, let, let, let's let's call it emotionally strong. I don't know if you can say that without offending anyone, but that's pretty much with everything in this world by now. Uh, so, yeah. I enjoy making other people feel better. Yes, I do. Totally do. I love that. In terms of your gender identity, do you, self, do you see yourself as a woman? Main? Uh... I prefer to self-identify. Whatever that means. Okay. No. I'm just a plain old guy. What my age? I'm here in that range. Please indicate your birth order in relation to your siblings. I'm the oldest. Yeah. Why does that matter? Please select your ethnic background. What? Wait. No, no, European, European, American. Oh, Caucasian is European, American. Okay, so I'm American. Yeah. How uh, European, not American? What? <laughs> I mean, I mean, um, I am American. What? How would you describe your political views? Ah, uh, I have never understood these two things, so let me 
do this. Here we go. Liberals want economic equality but social freedom. Conservatives want the government to protect social traditions but not to run the economy. Huh? To be honest, both sides from that graph thingy were good. And because I'm not 100% sure which one I am, I'll just go moderate because... Heck, I have no idea about American politics. Please provide your best estimate of your annual household income. Why? What for? Before taxes? My household income? Sure, I'll just go with this because I'm unsure. And I know my dad makes enough money and my brother still lives at home so he makes money i still live here make money my mom makes money yeah i have no idea what a conference or organizational code is so I, i'll submit calculating okay <clears throat> here we go your empathy score is 96 out of 110 high level of empathy in general Okay, if you would like to become more, oh, empathic, not empathetic. That's pretty pathetic of me. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I thought there might be more here. Oh, your score suggests that you have a strong ability to sense other people's emotions. Yeah, the dimension of empathy known as effective empathy. Ah, okay. This means that other people's feelings may be contagious. If they seem happy, you feel happy. If they seem afraid, you feel afraid. If they are suffering, you feel their pain. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Your ability to sense others' emotional states may also make you feel more concerned about their welfare, oh, 100%, and more likely to want to help them, yeah, when they are distressed. Sometimes, however, effective empathy can increase feelings of personal distress when you encounter suffering which can prevent you from providing effective support. Uh, I see where they're going with this, but that is not me. I can still differentiate between my own feelings and the feelings of my friends and how I feel about it and how they feel. I can still differenti differentiate those two. Yeah. Your score also suggests that you can easily put yourself in others' shoes mm -hmm, and imagine what they might be thinking or feeling. The dimension of empathy known as cognitive empathy. Your ability to take other people's perspectives may help you communicate and negotiate more effectively in your personal and professional relationships, and it may also make you less likely to rely on stereotypes when trying to understand others' behavior. Yes. Yes, totally. Um, so yeah, this, this is spot on except for uh, the personal distress thing. I don't really have that. So, yeah, cool. Nice. Well, what did we learn today, guys? I'm an empath. So, if you guys are feeling down and you really need a good video, then tell me what it is in the comments. I think telling from the video that I made about guessing all 50 states a, a while back, which blew up, by the way, for whatever stupid reason. Um, you can tell that I'm trying to um, respond to every single comment. And if I don't respond by typing, I will still like or heart them if I liked what the p person said. Um, so, yes. Um, if you want to see anything happening on my channel and I am able to make that happen, then post the stuff in the comments. You know, I'm, I'm reading the comments. I'm, I'm really reading every single comment and I'm trying to respond to every single comment, which if I was a huge YouTuber with like a million subscribers, that would be harder, but I would still try to do that because by that point, that would probably be part of my income and I could 
afford doing that, you know? So, yes. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for sticking around and check out my other stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, subscribes. Take care, guys. See ya.